Hi everyone, Brett McCray here with your Northern Ag Report. The Environmental Protection Agency is planning a rewrite of its 2023 Waters of the U.S. rule. After a Supreme Court decision from this spring declared that the significant nexus test found in the Biden administration's WOTUS rule is not in the Clean Water Act and therefore government overreach. DTN reports that on Monday, the agency filed a motion to stay an ongoing WOTUS lawsuit in federal court, telling the U.S. District Court in North Dakota that a rewrite of the rule determining federal jurisdiction over bodies of water is on the way. The court had issued a 24-state preliminary injunction against the Biden rule, which includes Montana. The EPA says its new rule will arrive on or before September 1st of this year. While the previous version of the WOTUS was released in December 2022, almost two years after Biden took office in January 2021. The Department of Agriculture has announced its latest funding to expand meat processing capacity, allocating more funding for businesses in 17 states, including Montana. Here in the Treasure State, the Mountain West Economic Development will use a $15 million investment from the Meat and Poultry Intermediary Lending Program to support processing and slaughter operations in the Flathead Valley. This funding is the latest announcement from the Biden administration's action plan for a fairer, more competitive and more resilient meat and poultry supply chain announced last January. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back in an hour with your markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always gonna be another something. I grew up in a generation of, you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana ag producers. Hello everyone, Brett McRae back with more Ag News and your markets. Grain markets are expecting two reports from USDA this morning. Those are the annual acreage and grain stocks report for June 1st. Expectations from analysts for wheat acre allocations include 37.32 million acres of winter wheat, 10.49 million acres of spring wheat, and 1.77 million acres of Durham. Dow Jones survey of these market watchers finds an expected 91.81 million acres of corn and a little more than 87 million acres of soybeans. DTN's Todd Holtman points out that no matter where these reports come in, trade continues to be dominated by weather news, an influence likely to remain prevalent going forward. Cash cattle trade has been light so far this week. The expectation from analysts was for mostly steady cash bids as supplies remain tight in the country. At Western Livestock Auction in Great Falls, cold cows traded from the high 90 cent range topping out at $1.14. In Sioux Falls, South Dakota this week, traditional slaughter weight lambs sold $8 to $13 higher per hundred weight from $196 to $210. Grain markets traded in a more mixed fashion on Thursday compared to the heavy selling that we observed earlier in the week. Less than stellar export sales reported yesterday support the fact that buyers on the world market have been able to find cheaper alternatives to U.S. wheat. That's all for your egg report. Have a great day.